guys, there are tears in my eyes. This is a so stupid thing to cry about. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying about it. I have had a bad day. And I just ordered Chipotle because I was really excited about eating Chipotle. Someone commented something about I'm doing a Chipotle video because it's been a while. And I was so excited to do a Chipotle video. And I have my Chipotle. I just picked it up. And they didn't give me a fork. What is wrong with these people? No fork and no napkins. I have napkins. I keep napkins in my glove box. I don't keep forks. I'm so upset right now. I want to eat my Chipotle and I can't because I don't have a fork. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, I fully recognize that that was ridiculous and a little bit dramatic. I'll admit to that. 100%. Absolutely. We need to break up these curls. What's going on here? Okay, that's better. Um, I love Ashley. If you guys haven't checked out our channel, it's called The Snack Collective. I'll link it below. I love Ashley and... Um, I know you guys will love Ashley too. So go check her out. She's amazing. She's such a good friend. I texted her my situation and how upset I was at Chipotle. And uh, she brought me a rolled, I should have shown it to you, a rolled up thing of paper towels with forks and spoons and knives. So I will never again not be prepared for a video. Those are very squeaky. So I'm gonna sit them there. So she's amazing and she saved the day. I was so over it. I was just ready to go back to work. I was so mad. And while dramatic, when you're already having a bad day, a little thing like a missed fork and your Chipotle bowl turns into a big thing. You know what I mean? So here's my Chipotle. You guys know by now that my Chipotle is not exciting. It's white rice, chicken, cheese, sour cream. And that's all she wrote. But it's good. It's simple. But simple can sometimes be really good anyway it was an adventure getting this anyhow because because why wouldn't it be at this point anyway so here's Chipotle um as I mentioned while I was being a baby um someone commented on a recent video and said I should do a another Chipotle video soon and I was like you know what it has been a while I love Chipotle first bite kind of big really big So good. Mm -mm -mm. Really delicious. That piece looks a little burny. Um. Anyway, back in town. Back to real life. Um. I haven't responded to the comments on my rallies video yet, but a couple of people asked how Brent did in his race. And he did really well. This was his third race. Um, I didn't realize how big of a deal this one was until afterwards. Um, He's competed in other, like, local or regional, like, Midwestern enduro races. But this was his first national level race. Like, there were guys that raced the pro circuit there. There are people from all over the country. There are people from all over the world. There are people from Australia, um, Sweden, he said. Anyway, it was a really big deal, and I had no idea. Uh... He didn't race pro though. A couple of his friends did. He raced in the expert class and there were 40 guys in that class and he finished sixth. Which he's disappointed in, but six out of 40 feels pretty good, especially in that big of a race. 
or a race of that caliber. Apparently the trails were very intense though and just like really rough and really rocky and it had been raining so they were really muddy and kind of dangerous and he said a lot of guys ended up getting carted off in ambulances. Sounds intense. Um, there were five stages in my video. My rally's video I mentioned, I thought there were six. There were five. And in the first stage, he dropped his bike chain, so he had to fix that. And then in the fourth stage, he had caught up to some of the guys in the lower class because they sent the lower classes out first. And he was trying to get the guy to move, but he couldn't pass him on the side, so he ran into the back of him. So had he not had those two instances, he probably would have done better. But I'm still very proud of him for sixth. Good job, Brent. <clears throat> Mother's Day is this weekend. We're hanging out with my mom and Brent's mom. Um, we're also getting our second dose of the vaccine on Friday, tomorrow. So I'm sort of nervous that we won't be feeling well enough to hang out with them all day, but we'll see. you guys a few videos ago I've mentioned it a couple times I've been very into reading books lately and I always post after I finished uh, after I can't talk finish a book I usually post a picture of it on my Instagram story like what I thought of it um, but I've gotten a lot of messages from people asking me I say a lot it's been like three or four um, to like start a separate book Instagram bookstagram apparently that's a thing bookstagram it's a whole community i had no idea so i started a bookstagram account and i'm very excited about it actually i'm excited to have a place to put all my book reviews and stuff so if you are also a bookworm you can check that out i haven't posted yet I feel like I need a photo of me, like, introducing myself to go up first instead of just a picture of a random book. So I need to take some pictures of books, I guess, <laughs> so I can post one. Um, but the handle is, I was very proud of this. The handle is pages in books, like P-A-I-G-E is in books so like page is in books but also pages in books isn't that good i'm so proud of that i probably don't have to explain it you guys are all smart enough but i was really proud of that um but i'm excited to post there I was only planning on eating half of this, but I am feeling very hungry. How are you guys doing? Is the weather getting warm where you are? I can't believe it's May and that summer is almost here. That's insane to me. For Memorial Day weekend, um, we are going to see my best friend and her husband and kids in Idaho. I feel like I mentioned that before. And then 
for Fourth of July, we're going to Steamboat Springs, Colorado, to hike and bike and hang out. My mom rented this like massive house, lodge house thing. I don't know what it is. So we're going with my whole family, my mom, stepdad, sister, brother-in-law, niece and niece dog, my, my dog niece, my brother, friend, me. And then, um, what other things we have planned? Our anniversary is in October and we were gonna take a combined 30th birthday slash anniversary trip this year, but we really want to go to Banff and Canada won't let us in yet. So maybe we'll make that a 31st birthday trip. I don't know. And do that next year. Um, but we're gonna have a staycation here. And I already booked our Airbnb. Our anniversary's not until October, but I wanted to plan ahead. I love planning trips. So I got us a really cute Airbnb um, and we'll do our, go get our couples massage, which we have done the last two years. It's a lot of fun. And then um, for Thanksgiving, we're going to Sundance, staying at Sundance in Utah. Um, and we did that like six years ago and it's really fun. Their Thanksgiving dinner is so good at the resort. It's Robert Redford's resort. I don't think we're staying at the resort this year, but I think we'll probably eat there. Anyhow, that's what we have coming up this year, trip-wise. So excited. Well, I ate all that, aside from some weird Bernie pieces. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm so grateful to Ashley for saving the day. I just finished this is my 60 ounces of water. I drink a gallon a day. So um, it's good to be about halfway done at lunchtime. So I'm on track for the day. I have like two weeks left of my challenge that I'm doing where I have to drink. I mean, there's like six different things I'm working on, but one of them is drinking a gallon of water and it is so much water. And that's one thing I'm ready to stop doing as soon as the challenge is over. I definitely think I'll probably drink more water than I did before, maybe like 100 ounces, but 128 ounces of water every single day is a lot. I'm just constantly in the bathroom. It's so annoying to break from my work and have to run to the bathroom. It's so annoying. Anyway, back off on a weird tangent. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. I hope mine gets better. It's been rough up to this point, but honestly this food, this video helped a little bit. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I probably won't be posting much since, well at all, since it's Mother's Day, I'll be busy with my family, but have the best one. Bye.